The four humors. This page disguised the four humors, but only one of them is styled with a special class. Do this. Look through the code to see how the sanguine class works. Okay. Sanguine. There we are. Oh, look. So I know this is the image, right? Because if I scroll right here. Now, you can also use inspect to hover. And that will highlight it as well. So now that we have sanguine here, let's see. So it looks like we have a class sanguine on the image, on the H2, which is, yep, and the paragraph. Now, remember, this is just the markup. This is HTML. It's adding these words and images to the page. The sheet that's stylizing it, as noted on line 4, is style.css. It's a separate file. Just like a Word document, we have an HTML document and a style document. Now, let's see what's happening here. Oh, notice dot, dot sanguine. That must be the class, right? Because everything else, IMG must refer to everything, as we just saw, right? That changes all images. Let me undo that. But this only changes the class. So add the class and rule set in the style file. Add a new class for one of the four humors. Oh, okay, so we get to pick. I'm going to head back here. Now, we can pick anyone we want. So I'll go ahead and do Melonic, because it's here. So I'm going to stick with their convention, and they just named theirs after what they had. So Sanguine, I'll do Melonic. So I'm going to go ahead now and do Class. Now, if you're not the best at spelling, guys, you have to be super careful. So if your teacher lets you abbreviate, you might want to do M-E-L. Whatever you want to do, it has to be identical everywhere. So I'm just going to right-click and do a copy, because sometimes I make a typo. And then I'm going to right-click and do Paste. That way I am absolutely certain, now I'm going to copy this whole thing. You could also write it each time, but you have to be certain you're spelling it identical. So I don't just want my styles on the image, like they have up here. Sanguine's on the H2 as well. So I'll do class, right, equals, and then, and I could have pasted it, but I want to make the point, be super careful, this is identical. So I'm going to put it on these two for now. Now I have to head back to style.css. And just like I see here, dot sanguine, I'm going to go to line 22 and I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to do dot. And again, you have to know how to spell it. So luckily it's on the page here if you're not sure. Mal and it let you pick. So you might want to do one of the other humors, right? You don't just have to do what I am doing. That is boring. And then a curly brace, which is next to the letter P. I'm holding shift, and I'm going to hit enter. Now, what do we want to do? I'll copy theirs to some degree. So I'm going to do border. Uh, I'll do a dash. Oh, and we can pick the size. I'm going to copy their idea. That's cool. And then, because we haven't really learned that yet, but you can kind of see what they do and go off of that. Um, I don't know. The blue. And then... Border color, I don't get font family. Ooh, I want to do a font family. Because uh, I want to do monospace. My favorite. I'm boring. Whatever. And let's make sure I hit ref uh, Now notice though, guys, this is only around my image and my H2 tag. However, theirs is around their H2 tag, their image, and what? And their paragraph. So why is mine different? Hmm. Well, let's go take a look. I only have it, guys, on my image and my H2. If I want it down here on my paragraph, I'm just going to Control-C or Command-C if you're on a Mac, Control-V or Command-V if you're on a Mac, and paste. Ta-da! Onward. 